there is this graph about the balance sheet of the European Central Bank and the money that is on there now. And here it is. What I would like to uh, show our viewers and, and ask the question about is, this is going over 8 trillion euros now. Mm -hmm. And isn't what you just told us about the um, cryptocurrencies, don't we see a gigantic bubble here on your balance sheet with the euro? And isn't this graph very nerve-wracking? Well, I can tell you that there is zero crypto assets in the balance sheet of the ECB. That I know. Uh, point number one. Well, I just don't want any ambiguity about it. Yeah. But you have to think in terms of counterfactual. If we had not decided on March 18th, when we put together the pandemic emergency program and then subsequently increased the volume of commitment that we made to the European Union economies, we would be in a devastated situation. So I don't regret any of that move that we took on that day, which was four months into my job, to significantly increase the size of the balance sheet, because that's all we had. Yeah. Otherwise, the economy would have collapsed, and it would have been even accelerated by a financial crisis. You had to do it. It was so, the COVID crisis. You say that's yes. what we needed to do. But how do you get it It will back? come. It will come. In due course. Yeah. How? In due how? course, it will come. Yeah? No, but do you sleep at night when you see this? Of course I have to sleep at night. And I have to worry every morning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Over here. I was wondering, do you own any cryptos yourself? No, I don't. Because I um, want to practice what I preach. <laughs> and then... Uh, I know how it works you... and I have... I actually have a son who invested in cryptos. Yes. So I, I follow very carefully. <laughs> and what have you taken away from that? That I would not put my finger in there. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't listen to your advice? No. No. He's a free man. He is, yeah. Did he lose a lot? He wouldn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs>